All right. Beams 3SGE fuel system stuffs. So when you swap in a Beams 3SGE into something like my A86 here, um, there are a few things that you got to get figured out. So the first thing we're talking about is a fuel system. I guess I'll, I'll start by talking about the fuel pump itself. So this is a two liter, four cylinder, naturally aspirated. You don't need to go crazy with a fuel pump. A Walbro 255 is perfectly acceptable. And even then that's rather like overkill for this. Uh, people are using Walbro 255s for like three, 350 horsepower, like turbo cars, and this makes 200 horsepower. So a 255 is fine. You don't need anything bigger than that. Okay, so let's talk about the fuel pressure regulator. This is the big thing with this swap. So the Alteza, well, I guess the Beams, runs at 62 PSI for the fuel pressure. The Alteza has the fuel pressure regulator built into the fuel pump inside of the fuel tank. So the Alteza uses what's called a returnless style system. Uh, so there isn't a return line that runs from the engine back to the, to the fuel tank. It's just, just one line from the fuel tank up to the engine. Now, when you swap in a Beams into a, an 8.6 or other car that has a return style fuel system, you have to add a fuel pressure regulator uh, because otherwise there's no way to regulate your fuel pressure. So, the way that I have mine set up is similar to how the 4AGE is set up. So on the 4AGE, you've got a fuel line that comes in and feeds the fuel rail, like mine does right there, right? Then the uh, 4AGE has a fuel pressure regulator. Um, it looks similar to, similar to this, right? That's not a fuel pressure regulator, but it looks similar on the 4AGE, and that's on the return. So out of the fuel rail, it goes back to the fuel tank because the fuel pressure regulator is here on the return. Essentially, the, the fuel pressure regulator works as a restriction on the outlet of the fuel rail, so it keeps the fuel feed line pressurized and the fuel rail pressurized to maintain the proper fuel pressure. Now, on this, like I said, that's not a fuel pressure regulator. That's actually called a uh, fuel pressure damper, I think, is the technical term. What it does is it... Um, absorbs the fuel pressure oscillations from the fuel injectors firing. So it just keeps your fuel pressure more stable. Uh, anyway, so I've got my fuel feed here, and then I've got this line that comes off of that and goes over here to my adjustable fuel pressure regulator. So I have my fuel pressure set to 62 PSI while it's running. Uh, I have a Tomei Type S fuel pressure regulator. Uh, it would be more than adequate for like a Walbro 255. Uh, I actually, um, there's a couple different like options when you're looking at pressure regulators. It's based more on fuel volume flow. I probably should have a type L, which is the larger um, pressure regulator because I have a overkill fuel pump. I have an AEM like 400 liter per hour pump. It was cheaper than a Bosch 044, which is an inline fuel pump because I need an inline fuel pump because I've got a cheap fuel cell. Anyway, so regardless, the type S should be just fine. And so essentially I've got the feed line here, I've got the, the um, return line here to the fuel pressure regulator, and then that has a line that goes back to the tank. The other style of fuel pressure regulator that's pretty common is very similar to a returnless style in the sense that there's only one, well, there we go, there's only one fuel line that goes to the engine. The way it works is you've got a fuel feed that comes from the tank and goes to the fuel pressure regulator, okay? And then from there, you have two more lines. You've got your uh, regulated line, your, and that goes to the fuel rail, right? So you set your fuel pressure, and it regulates that one line to the fuel rail to whatever you set the fuel pressure to. And then the other one is the return back to the tank. So that way, all three lines go to the fuel pressure regulator, and you'll have one line going here. Now, something else that I've heard a few people using is they're using a certain model year of Corvette fuel filter. It's a three-port fuel filter, meaning the pressure regulator is built into the fuel filter. I don't know what year uh, Corvette, I haven't really looked into it. They're just adapting the fuel lines to be able to connect to it because it uses like GM quick clips or something, uh, quick disconnect clips. So you adapt the fuel lines to fit to it and then that way you only have one line coming up in the engine bay and you've got your pressure regulator and your filter built into one. It seems like a nice unit. Uh, but I don't know what the pressure rating for that is. Some people say it works great. I, I don't know, I just haven't tested it myself. So. Anyway, I just figured I would clarify that. 
And uh, yeah, so I wanted to answer any questions people had. If you, if I didn't cover anything, or if you have any other questions, put them in the comments, and, and I'll respond. Maybe I'll make a second video. But I hope that that answers everybody's questions for the fuel system when doing a Beams 3SGE swap into an, an AE86.